Bienvenue à Fontainebleau pour cette septième saison du festival Series Series. Nous avons rencontré Peter Kospinski, réalisateur britannique engagé. Hi Peter, thank you for accepting our invitation. Thank you for inviting me. My first question will be, uh, what is for you a good TV show? Uh, your first, right. quest your yeah. first question <laughs> is a big question. Uh, a good TV drama for me is something that in some way encapsulates or reflects or comments on some aspect of our daily lives. So I'm less interested in things that are what you might call escapist entertainment, although I accept there's a place for that. I like dramas that, that really get down to the detail of the nature of our lives today. All right, do you have some examples? We've just been talking here at the festival about a wonderful BBC drama, which I have to say I had nothing to do with, uh, called Three Girls, which was a very British story. It was based on a true story of, of girls who'd uh, been sexually abused in the north of England. Very brave film, not an easy uh, series to watch won a lot of awards and got a very, very large audience. So for me, that's an excellent example of the kind of thing I'm trying to describe. All right, um, I have a quote for you by Nanny Moretti. Um, cinema is here to show to a larger public what the public is not able to see any, any longer. Do you think it will be for you a good definition of your TV shows? Yes, I think it is exactly what I'm talking about. You know, um, one of the things that TV drama can do is it can provide a sense of perspective on events. Some years ago I made a, uh, a television drama which was shown here in France called Warriors. Um, now this was about the conflict in Bosnia and the role of British and, uh, and of course French were, uh, soldiers were involved as well in peacekeeping operations in, in Bosnia. Very difficult. That conflict had been reported by French journalists Uh, by British journalists, by American journalists, day after day after day. Their stories appeared on our television screens. But drama was able to stand back five years later. Drama can give you the details that you didn't, you never quite got during the news coverage. For you, why is it so important to come here for the festival series series? Well, first of all, it's, it's a great honor to be asked. This is a festival of fellow professionals and to be invited and invited to speak. Secondly, I have to say that over the years, my work has received a fantastic reception in France. Actually, I think better than back home. <laughs> uh, I always personally believe that the French understand culture in the way that the British really don't. We're too close to the Americans. So I've always enjoyed the creative dialogue here in France, and it's always a pleasure to come here. If you could give some advice to a young producer or starting in the business, what would they be? I think often about the photographer who gets all the gear, you know, gets the camera and the telephoto lens and the zoom lens and, and then they suddenly realize, I don't know what I want to photograph. Yeah. And the advice I would give to somebody starting out in, in my business wanting to make films is, Make sure you're not just in love with the idea of being a filmmaker. What do you actually want to say? It's a very powerful medium. So you're supposed to hold a mirror up to society, so spend a little time in society. Don't go straight from uh, at one of the big schools into filmmaking. Spend some time meeting other human beings in different circumstances than your own. You know, there are many things that are are wrong in our society increasingly at the moment. Use this powerful tool to think about some of those issues. What is your vision about British creation at the moment? Well, it's in a state of flux. Uh, we have a lot of exciting new voices. I think we're slightly losing sight of our own British or European voice. You know, with the advent of all the streaming video on demand services. But those channels don't make peculiarly British material. They want things that have global appeal. You know, we're 60 million people in Britain, in our small island. We have our own culture, which is distinct from the American culture. We don't have the protection that you have of the French language. Unfortunately, we share a language with America. And I think the biggest challenge facing a young generation of filmmakers is to keep it 
identifiable and also you know not to lose track of their Europeanness at a time when our politicians are taking us out of Europe which is obviously a very distressing time for people like me. So don't you think that the Brexit is going to have a negative impact on European co-productions in the future? I think Brexit is going to have a negative a uh, impact on absolutely everything. I think it's a complete disaster. The thing that saddens me most, and I hope it's a lesson for others in Europe, not to make the mistake we made, is that in the debate it was all framed in economic terms. But for me, the whole point of the European Union is to be international. I'm old enough to remember the reason why it was set up, to prevent war between France and Germany, and for that matter, Britain. To me, it's an internationalist experiment in trying to work together. And I hate the fact that our country has become so inward looking and um, turned its back on internationalism for very narrow nationalistic and um, so-called economic reasons. So I'm afraid, I, I don't think it's just co-production collaboration, which obviously will be destroyed, but also a, a wider mistake, which my nation is in the process of making. Uh, what are your future projects? Well, I'm working on something at the moment about a terrible event that happened in Britain almost exactly a year ago a terrible fire in a, in a tower block in London called Grenfell Tower. 72 people died in, trapped in the building, unable to get out. And the BBC has asked me to make a, a TV drama series about it, and I'm working on that at the moment. Do you think there is a right time to do it? Because, like you said, just like a, a year after everything happened. So is it the right time to do it? Now? No. Definitely not. The public inquiry into this terrible fire has only just been convened. When I accepted the commission from the BBC, I said, I'll only do it if we can take our time. For exactly the reason I had mentioned in our earlier conversation, which is you need time to reflect and let the events settle a little bit and see what the big themes are coming out. At the moment, it would be completely tasteless to make a drama about these events. It's too raw, it's too immediate, but in two or three years' time, I think we'll want to tease out the lessons of the event and see what we can learn from it. Thank you very much. Oh, it's my yeah. pleasure. Thank you.